welcome to my bed head already in progress. Let's fix that. Once again, I'm recording this on my phone because I didn't bother to charge the batteries in my camera. Hi, it's me, Tree. Hello. For those of you who maybe have never come to my channel before, which would be most people, I, I, I have like a very small little black jam sized following. Jam sized following. Like, like, like a jam session. Listen, I'm Tree. I am a mixed media conceptual artist, illustrator, and writer. The mixed media conceptual artist part basically means that my art is idea driven and that if anything sits still for more than like three seconds, I am likely to turn it into art. It's the joy of being an artist. We, we actually have really good excuses, especially the joy in being a mixed media artist, especially we have excellent excuses to be, you know, just pack rats. It's great. Yes, I was introducing myself. I'm very bad at introducing myself today, evidently. Uh, but yes, tree, mixed media conceptual artist, illustrator, writer, public universal friend, professional anxious person, cheerful nihilist, chaotic goofy, squid, exceedingly queer. I think that covers everything, maybe. They, them, I am a they, them. Evidently today is going to be a day where I'm easily distracted too. Now you have met me. Other interesting things about me. I play Dungeons and Dragons like a million other people play, except that I've been playing since I was five years old because I am a giant nerd, in case you couldn't guess. Uh, in fact, I am wearing my Critical Role Molly Mock shirt right now. Long may he reign. I am overeducated. I have a bachelor's degree in classics and history. Classics is an interdisciplinary degree that covers language and history and art and archaeology and linguistics and mythology and yada 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 for the uh, ancient Mediterranean and ancient Middle East. So basically, you want to know about ancient Greece and Rome and Sumer and Egypt and stuff, I'm your person. I have a master's degree in literature. One of my cats just came by. Specializing, uh, my, my thesis was on Shakespeare, specifically Iago, and how there's an ambiguity in the text that allows him to be a Florentine, and how that changes the entire play, which you wouldn't think it does, but it does because of uh, the phenomenon of Canottiere in the, the early modern period Italian city-states, and then you get into proto-capitalism and economic theory, and it becomes a thing. And I have post-baccalaureate work in, in sculpture. I went to art school. And I have about half a PhD in art education. So hi, I am a giant nerd. When I say I'm a nerd, I'm a big nerd. My favorite thing to, to like do in academia was theory. Like Baudrillard, Foucault, Sizeau, aesthetic theory. Oh, the, this was my jam. I'm a nerd. Other things, I have cats. I have two cats in case you have not guessed from watching other videos so in case you have never watched other videos. I like all things kawaii. I've been watching uh, anime and reading manga since I was probably about eight years old and that was in the 80s so like it was real early cross-pollination stuff like Unico was one of my foundational texts and I remember when Akira was first released onto video in the States. So yeah. I'm also extraordinarily bad at video games. I enjoy them. I'm bad at them. I prefer watching other people play them because of how bad I am. Other dumb things to know about me. I guess something else to know about me is that um, I had mentioned I'm a they them. I am non-binary. I am genderqueer, which means gender is kind of a... a, a, a for me, gender is something that is very peculiar and sometimes I feel guyish, sometimes I feel girlish, sometimes I feel both, sometimes I feel none, sometimes I feel all the things at the same time, and sometimes I'm a squid. So, you know, it gender is a societal construct and yeah, I'm also a romantic. 
which means that I do not feel romantic attachment, attraction. Romantic stuff do not get like literally gone over my head. I'm good at the performativity of it because we're all like steeped in it in this culture, but I, I don't feel it. I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me. And I am demi-ace, which means that to feel sexual attraction, I have to have a strong emotional connection to the person in question. If you're thinking this is all very, very complicated, hi, welcome to my life. It took me a real long time to figure all this out. Other random things. Uh, I also spin, uh, not not DJ spin, spin. Uh, that was a hand gesture that makes no sense unless you have seen a spinning wheel. Uh, I, I have a spinning wheel, I spin yarn, I spin art yarn, and I make stuff out of it. Not sweaters or anything, I make sculptures out of it. I also do paper making and metalworking, and yeah, did I mention mixed media? I do word woodworking too, but it's really questionable. But yeah, I the, I, I put the, the, the mixed into media. It's what I do. Technically, this is probably a thing that should have been Vlogmas Day 1, but you're getting it Vlogmas Day 2 because the end of Nano and I needed to, to get all that stuff done. But yes, this is usually something that people will do on the first day of Vlogmas because on the first day of Vlogmas, my YouTuber gave to me an explanation of who they are, but that's not what I did. So yes. Hi, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas. Welcome to the chaos because I, yeah, and I'm gonna go. I have things to do, I have books to read, uh, art to make, cats to annoy. Do good, be kind, be brave, pet something cuddly, encourage.